Byzantine art. Byzantine art is the artistic projects from the Byzantine Empire lasting from the 4th century until 1453 with the fall of Constantinople. The subject of the Byzantine art was primarily religious and imperial and sometimes mixed as having Byzantine emperors decorating the inside walls of a church. Carolingian art, a 120-year-long period from the Frankish Empire, which is also known as the Pre-Romanesque. It tried to revive and emulate classical Mediterranean art forms and styles that resulted in a blending of classical and northern elements and setting the stage for the rise of the Romanesque art and eventually Gothic art in the West. Ottonian art. In pre-Romanesque Germany, the prevailing style was what has come to be known as Ottonian art. Much Ottonian art reflected the Saxon Ottonian dynasty's desire to establish visually a link to the Christian rulers. Romanesque art. The Romanesque art is recognized by its style in both sculpture and painting. The architecture, based on ancient Roman models, emphasizes the round arc and the barrel vault. Gothic art. The word Gothic was originally used as a synonym for the negatively charged word for barbaric. The earliest Gothic art was monumental sculpture on the walls of cathedrals and abbeys. Secular art came into its own during this period with the rise of The Italian Renaissance. Many paintings from the Renaissance period were large-scale and created for the Catholic Church. During the 15th century, however, portraits became more common. Northern Renaissance. The Northern Renaissance is basically the Renaissance in Europe outside of Italy. In some areas, the Northern Renaissance was distinct from the Italian Renaissance in its centralization of political power. It was also closely linked to the Protestant Reformation. Mannerism. Mannerism is a period of European art that emerged from the later years of the Italian High Renaissance around 1520. It lasted until about 1580 in Italy when a more Baroque style began to replace it. Baroque. Baroque is most often defined as the dominant style of art in Europe between the Mannerists and the Rococo eras, a style characterized by dynamic movement over emotion and self-confident rhetoric. Rococo. The Rococo is an 18th century style where artists gave up their symmetry and became increasingly more ornate, florid, and playful. Rococo rooms were designed as total works of art with elegant and ornate furniture, small sculptures, ornamental mirrors, and tapestry complementing architecture, reliefs, and wall paintings. Neoclassicism. Neoclassicism is essentially an art of an ideal, but in the visual arts, neoclassicism began as a reaction against both the surviving Baroque and Rococo styles, and as a desire to return to the perceived purity of the arts of Rome. Romanticism. The romantic sensibility contrasted with the neoclassicism being taught in the academies. The Romanticism had a revealed clash between color and design, the expressiveness and mood of color. Realism. In the visual art of realism, the artist tried to paint in accordance with the secular empirical rules, without embellishment or interpretation. Truth and accuracy became the goals of many realists.
Impressionism. Impressionism was a 19th century art movement that began as a loose association of Paris-based artists. Characteristics of Impressionist paintings include visible brushstrokes, emphasis on light, and unusual visual angles. Post-Impressionism. The post-Impressionists were dissatisfied with the loss of structure in Impressionist paintings. Vincent van Gogh used color and vibrant swirling brushstrokes to convey his feelings and his state of mind. Pointillism. Pointillism is a technique of painting in which small distinct dots of pure color are applied in patterns to form a learned image. George Seurat developed the technique in 1886, branching from Impressionism. You know what 2.30 in the afternoon feels like, right? Sleepy, groggy, dying for a nap. What do you do to stay awake? Run for a smoke? Get a wake-up call? Try this instead. Take one five-hour energy and see what the rest of your day feels like. Sure, will not feel like 2.30 anymore. Five hours of energy, hours of energy, no 2.30 feeling later. Make your workers work hard the whole day without any breaks or problems. May not please human rights activists or other communist groups for future information, call 555, make the kid work, or go to our webpage. Impressionism's typical trait is to present the world under an utterly subjective perspective, violently distorting it to obtain an emotional effect and vividly transmit personal moods and ideas. Abstract art. Abstract art uses a visual language of form, color, and line to create a composition. Abstraction indicates a departure from reality into imaginary art. Fauvism. The paintings of the Fauves were characterized by seemingly wild brushstrokes and strident colors, while their subject matter had a high degree of simplification and abstraction. It can be classified as an extreme development of postmodernism mixed with pointillism. Cubism. In cubist artworks, objects are broken up, analyzed, and reassembled in an abstracted form. Often the surfaces intersect at seemingly random angles, removing a coherent sense of depth. Futurism. Futurism was an artistic and social movement that originated in Italy in the early 20th century. It was largely an Italian phenomenon, though there were parallel movements in Russia, England, and elsewhere. The futurists practiced in every medium of art, including painting, sculpture, and ceramics. 